me. Okay, so here we are again at the uh, Artistic Talent Show. And of course, my name is Melvin Isaac, and I'm your producer for Brooklyn uh, Artistic Talent Show here on uh, Brick Arts Medium, downtown Brooklyn, uh, on, uh, right off of Rockwell. So that's where we're at right now, on the second floor of the mini studio. And so I have an extraneous guest here. He's a great artist. I've known him from the Dorsey Art Show. Uh, actually, the Dorsey Gallery and the Fulton Art Show and True. Bailey and all the rest of them. <laughs> but anyway, I got him here, and he's going to answer some questions. And he got a story that he probably want to share with you as well. Okay, so the first thing uh, is uh, tell us your name and uh, a little bit about yourself because you don't have to go too much about yourself because I get the questions to lead okay. you into so tell us your Well, name. my name is Gerald Jones, and... Uh, I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York, Bethany and Stuyvesant. I was born and raised here, so I'm comfortable being here. And uh, I have uh, studied my art from a, uh, from a child when I was small. My main goal was to, well, the story is my father used to sit down and doodle mm -hmm. when he came home from work, and I used to see him doodle, and I wondered, how could he do that? And then I uh, used to run upstairs and uh, I would try to doodle. And I, after a while, I come to find out that I could do it pretty good. Mm -hmm. I could do it better than he did, but I didn't, tell him that. <laughs> I didn't tell him that. But I found that I could, you know, I could actually do it. And I started getting interested in sketching and whatnot mm -hmm. when at an early age. I say when I was in the public school, yeah. mainly in public school. Okay. And then it went on from there, and I progressed as, you know, as the years came along. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, I think when I really got interested in, in the arts. Okay, before you continue on, because some of the questions are going to lead you into okay. that yeah. particular situation. Okay, what three words friends and family would use to describe you, Joe? Uh, amazing. <laughs> let, me, let me stop. Uh, I would say uh, kind, mm -hmm. a considerate, and loving. I guess those would be the words. Okay. And how would you uh, describe yourself? Uh, sometimes kind. Okay. Uh, I'm normal. I would okay. say I'm normal. I, you know, I, I don't want to put myself above or lower. I'm a normal mm -hmm. human being. Right. I got my ups and downs, yeah. you know. But uh, I, I, I'm a pretty good guy, I would say. Okay. You know. okay, what inspired you to wake up every morning? Oh, oh. It, 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 this might sound strange. No, but, no, no. Uh, It's to work on a piece of art. Okay. Yeah, it's man, that's what my life is about now. It's my art. Mm -hmm. I wake up. I'm eager to uh, start on the piece because mm -hmm. uh, my studio is in my in my house, mm -hmm. and I have a separate studio room. And I wake up, and the first thing I do after I do all the normal things, I go in there and figure out what I'm going to do next with okay. my art. Okay. So, uh, who would you say inspired you? Uh, I, like I said, my father. Huh? My father. Okay. Yeah. My father. Okay. What challenges have you struggled with to become an artist? Oh, many challenges. Uh, I, uh, like I said, I, I uh, uh, when I was younger, I, uh, I got an, uh, uh, a grant to go to Pratt Institute mm -hmm. when I was in boys' high school. And I went there for two uh, summer semesters under the Student Art League. And I really struggled with that. And I started to give it up one time because it was seven of us, my siblings and my father and mother were working hard and they couldn't afford to really send me there and it was a struggle for me to go there. But I completed the two. I think that was the hardest thing I could do because uh, it was hard for me to ask my mother and father for money for equipment, for art. And we, and we needed food, <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> you know, it was, uh, it was a struggle then, I yeah. think, but I got, I got past it. Ever since then, it's, you know, I take it in stride, you know, I take my heart in stride. Uh, okay. How long have you been an artist? Uh, I would say that it, all my life, really, all my life. As I can remember, I was always, like I said, when I was younger, I was always growing to art right. in some sort of way, you know. Uh, my, my brother, he was, a, he was a musician. He, he, is, he sang, mm -hmm. 
and I considered that art. That was an art form that I I, uh, I enjoyed. I wanted to be a singer, but I, I couldn't sing really. But he could sing, and I, that was an art form to me. And uh, my mother and my grandmother, they were in church, and they used to sing in the choirs and whatnot. You know, but my father, like I said, my father, he was the only one he used to do. I used to love to see him draw on the, on the papers. And I said, I want to do that. And that's when I came into, you know, being an artist. Uh, the next thing that encouraged me to be an artist is uh, my mother, my grandmother, she was the matriarch of the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day she came to the house. We had, a, we had an assignment to do. Uh, I, was, I, was going, I went to 258 public school junior high school and our teacher gave us an assignment to draw the three ships of uh, Columbus, the Nina, the Penta, and the Santa Maria. And I was sitting down, I was sketching them out and I almost I was almost completed my work and uh, my grandmother came came by. And my grandmother the type, she was uh, she wasn't really eager to please people. You didn't please her just like that. She was a matriarch. And when I was coming up, children was seen in that herd. And we were sitting at the kitchen table, and uh, she came past and she looked. At, I could feel her looking at my work, and she she patted me on the head and said, "Joe, that's beautiful. I love that." And I said, "Yeah, I'm gonna be an artist because one thing, uh, if you could please my grandmother, mm -hmm. you you did it. Believe it, you know, because she didn't give out she didn't give out those type of things easily. Right. You had to earn it, you know. And I think I earned it. And she was I was just." I, oh, I was so happy. I ran upstairs and told my brother and the sisters, I said, dear, she said my work is nice and whatnot. You know, and, if, and I think that kind of like pushed me along. Okay. You know, because I, I always wanted to impress my, uh, my grandmother, yeah. you know, but, and I think that helped me, you know, decide what I wanted to be. So are you self-taught or did you go to school? Well, mainly I went to, like I said, I went to, uh, I, took, I got two grants when I was going to, uh, I went to boy, Boys High, Old Boys mm -hmm. High, and I got two grants yeah. to in the summertime to go to uh, Pratt Institute. So mm -hmm. I took two summer courses, two different years, right. and that helped me. And then after that, when I got out of the service, I went to uh, Brooklyn College under the GI Bill, mm -hmm. and I did two uh, two semesters there. Okay. You know, so and, and uh, that helped me along, to, you know, to give me some foundation of, right. of the arts. But uh, I. Uh, and even now, and I'm uh, I'm enrolled in Lehman College for right. sculpture. Right. You know, I, I decided to take sculpture. I could have took sculpture when I was going to uh, Pratt Institute when I had the grants, summer mm -hmm. grants. But when I was coming up, it was a thing called being fresh and clean. Mm -hmm. And when you're dealing in you know ceramics, you're dealing in clay. I deal in clay right. and, and hard wax and see all kinds of stuff, and it get real messy. So I said, no, I'm not going to take that. I was selective because I'm not taking that because yeah. I've got to walk out fresh and clean, you know, <laughs> you know, for the girls. <laughs> so I didn't take it then. But I recently uh, started taking the sculpture uh, at Lehman College. I'm doing sculpture oh, now. Okay. I'm studying sculpture. Yeah, exactly. And I would, I, I, every time I, I, I uh, complete a, uh, a project, I always say, I should have took I wish I could have took this earlier because mm. I could have did more, be more into it. And I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it, so I'm doing that now. Okay, so uh, when did you start drawing? Drawing? Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, basically, I started like when I was young with my father, right. but I really didn't realize that I could I had the talent to do it until I think I was in junior high school. Mm -hmm. uh, not, no, I would say public school, really, in the last part of right. public school before I went to a, a junior high school, and um, I was sitting down drawing and I started drawing the human body. I was looking at my brothers and whatnot. I started yeah, drawing yeah. the faces, the human figure. And I actually could draw the human figure. But at that time most of the most of the, the, the uh, students in my class, they couldn't draw the human figure mm -hmm. real good. And um, I used to I used to like read books on anatomy yeah. and whatnot and I, and I found out that I could actually draw the human figure. Mm -hmm. And that kinda got me too because I could see when I when I draw the human figure, I can see just more than the outer layers of the body. I right. can see the inner bodies and the movement and whatnot. And that kind of like fascinated me. So then I said, that's what I want to do. I want to I want to be an artist. I want to draw. That's when I first really 
Oh. Got dedicated to drawing. Paint. So, yeah, how many mediums do you uh, use? Well, basically one. Uh, oils. I love oils. Uh, some people describe, I describe it as, a, as the, the fact that I love oils as, as a construction worker. Because mm -hmm. with oils, it, it takes time. You know, when you got other mediums, uh, watercolors and acrylics and whatnot, it, they, they seem to dry quicker and you right. can't work with them. Yeah. And I like to work with them. I change the oils and do this and, you know, <laughs> you just go crazy with it. And I found out I enjoy doing that. Mm -hmm. you, know, I, I, you know, I like the, the, the progress. I like mm -hmm. the, you know, the method of working with oils. And I, I, I think uh, I express myself better in oils than, right. than any other. All right. Uh, do you belong to any art organization? Yes, right now I belong to the Fulton Art Fair, mm -hmm. in the station in Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be the vice president of the mm -hmm. organization now. Uh, and we, uh, we coming along and we're going to have our celebration in June for the 60th, yeah. 60th anniversary yeah, yeah. of this organization. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm a honored to be a part of it because when I was coming back as a kid, they used to have the, uh, the fair out there. When I was a kid, I used to come and uh, participate in, you know, in the entertainment and whatnot of the fair. And this was years ago, right. you know, but now we have grown mm -hmm. for 60 years. And I was amazed that some of the artists that participated and that were the founders of this organization, because I really, you know, I just took it for granted. It was, a, it was an art show and they had music and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't really know the history of it until recently. And uh, I'm honored to be a part of this, you know? Great, 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 great. So have you had any commissions? Yes, yes, I have had commissions of, of uh, quite a few commissions. I, I, I can't go through all of them, but no, I, no, I, uh, no, I have commissions to uh, do paintings for the lawyer, a lawyer that mm -hmm. he was, uh, I had a show at a, at a, a, a city hall, J. Street Bar Hall City Hall, and that this artist, this uh, lawyer was there, mm -hmm. and he commissioned me to do a few paintings for him. He was from Spain, right, right, so right. and I did a few for him. I did different commissions for different people. Okay. Nobody, nobody really famous or anything, right. but I, I, uh, I have people that that's worthy of my thought, worthy of my work to uh, purchase some like. Otto O'Neill, he purchased yeah. a, a few of my paintings and mm -hmm. different, you know, different, mm -hmm. okay. you know. And what about in uh, private or public collections? Do anybody have my private? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. One of them <laughs> is my sister. <laughs> she, she's, uh, she has uh, quite a few. She, she always, uh, she commissions me to do work, too, okay. with some of her friends and whatnot. And uh, she has a big collection of my work. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see who else. Uh, like I said, Otto O'Neill, he has a couple of my pieces. Different, different people. Yeah. They, they're not famous or anything, or not right. collected, but they, you know, they collect my. Uh, yeah. One, one person that, uh, that I was amazed that collected my work, is Eric Edwards. Okay. You know who he is. Yeah, I know who yeah. He, is. yeah. He, he has a piece of my work. I was in a, a, a show with him at a city hall, in mm -hmm. a mega. Evans uh, college. He had a show a few years back, yeah. and he. Uh, I had a piece there in the show, and he he had collected it. He bought it. So. Okay. It, so what about uh, an individual show? Have you exhibited? Oh. In your work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's see. Uh, individual shows. Uh, uh, the restoration in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I did a show with uh, Buffett's. Oak Buffett's in, uh, 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 up in New York. Right. Um, I did City Hall. Mm -hmm. um, I did a, in Jersey. I did a show in Jersey, a couple of shows in Jersey. I did all over, really. I, you know, it's, uh, so tell us something about Dorsey, how important Dorsey is to you. Well, Dorsey, I think, is, is a, like I said, it's, it's like one of the cornerstones, yeah. especially for Afro-American artists, mm -hmm. you know, it represents quality art mm -hmm. and, and it supports new artists. Because when I first came to, the first time I came to Dorsey's, 
I was amazed at the people that was endorsing it. And they, and they, they uh, I was, you know, a novice at it. Mm -hmm. And they, they brought me in and they uh, uh, invited me to do a, sh uh, a show with some other artists there. I actually sold some work there. Oh, okay. You know, and uh, and I know the I know the artists, some of the artists right, from right, right. Uh, from way back, and they they I, to me, Dorsey is 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 what our community needs more of. Mm -hmm. Dorsey galleries like that because uh, it's uh it's it's known but not well enough known, as far as I'm concerned. The people that doesn't know the artists that affiliate with it. You affiliated yeah. with it. I'm affiliated with Wiggleworth and all, all different artists. And I figured we should uh, promote Dorsey Gallery. Okay, so uh, what do you consider to be the most important in your life of art? Uh, oh, well, <laughs> this is the story. I, I, I don't want to take too long with it. No, because... Uh, yeah, but what had happened, when it, after, I, after I got out of school, after I got out of Brooklyn College, I was like, I knew the techniques of art. I knew all that, but I wasn't. I wasn't like I wasn't like in the void. I wasn't sure of myself as an artist. And I was in Harlem one day, and I was getting some pictures framed. And uh, I was talking to these African artists in Harlem, and we was in the, in, in H and M Gallery, you know, getting some work done. And they, I was telling them about my you know predicament. I said I can paint. You know, I, I said, I know all the techniques and whatnot, and I can paint, but I, I don't feel that I'm, I'm right there yet. And uh, they was telling me, what an artist says, well, what you do? He says, in my village, when we have an artist, a drummer, a dancer, a musician, a poet, or whatnot, what we do, we have a ceremony mm -hmm. for them. And what we do, call upon our ancestors, their ancestors, to give them strength and purpose and guidance as an artist to bring out their talent. And he asked me a same uh, question. He says, uh, what type, like, what type of animals do you like? I said, I like animals with horns. He says, well, what you do, what I want you to do is when you go home, he said, what you want, I want you to meditate, call upon your ancestors mm -hmm. to give you guidance and give you an identity as an artist. And he says, use those figures that you said you like as, uh, as your guides. And at first I said, I said, I don't know what these guys are smoking. <laughs> you, know, they, I, you know, I ain't never uh, been in a conversation like that with someone, and, and they told me to, to uh, connect with my ancestors, you know. Um, but I did it. I did it. And, and I, I meditated and I called upon them, because I was kind of lost as an artist. And I, I, I called upon them to give me guidance and give me purpose. And lo and behold, and I tell people uh, this all the time, I started painting about a week later, and you, like those pictures up there, mm -hmm. these these are particular figures. I started painting them, and 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 uh, I could actually feel it. Okay. I could feel it. It wasn't just like painting something to paint it. I became part of it, and this became my spiritual quest. You know, as a, as, as a, my spiritual guide, as as, uh, as an artist, I felt I felt whole, and uh, one of these one of these. Uh, the African artist has told me. He says, "You'll know when you when you reach when you reach that point." He said, "He said because you'll be able to paint water." He said, "Not only will you be able to paint water, you'll be able to paint water wet." Okay. And he said, "You can swim in it if you want to." And and right then, now as an artist, I can paint water. I can say it. I can actually paint water wet, and I can swim in it. And that's when I know I arrived with my ancestors, you know, that I, I reached that point that I, uh, that was there, yeah. and I've been painting. So basically you answered the question of who you are and what is your purpose, because you already, that's the whole <laughs> thing right there. Yeah. But what I want you to do is all these paintings that you see right there, sum it up, because we're just dealing with the time. Sum yeah. it up in one, you know, well, I, about I, I, everything yeah. that we see. I, I can say it's, it it's, it's, it's my journey. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's the way I look at life. You know, I I I, uh, I I I use it as a, as a tool to express myself. Right. You know, I used to like I said, I used to like depend on doing my art, like these pictures here. I used to right. do, I used to get permission to do paintings, mm -hmm. and I used to do it for other people. Mm -hmm. You know, and I used to wonder if they liked it or didn't mm -hmm. like it. But what I know when I was in school, that 
my one of my teachers told me, he said, Joe, as an artist, your purpose is to create. He right. says, sometimes you create a painting, you do whatever work you do. And some people will like it and some people won't. Mm -hmm. He says, as an artist, as a creator, that's not your purpose. Yeah, your purpose right. is to get a reaction. Okay. He says, you're gonna, get, you're gonna get good reactions and you're gonna get bad reactions. But he says, your purpose is to get a reaction. He says, when you worry, when you get worried, is when you don't get a reaction. Then you, you haven't did your job. He says, uh, didn't you worry? But he says, as long as you get a reaction, <laughs> you did your job. And that, that's what I do. I, I know some people look at my work and say, oh my God. <laughs> you know, some people say, oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I got the reaction. Yeah, yeah. And, I'm, and I'm satisfied with that. Okay. You know, that's, that's the purpose of it. Well said. Yeah. <laughs> well, this has come time to the interviewers uh, closing out. And it's about over. And it, was, uh, it was my pleasure. An honor to uh, interview you, Gerald, I, and uh, you know you gave a message, and uh, you know everybody out there listened to you, and I, now they know about Gerald. Yeah, I'm great. Understand who you are, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. and all your artwork. Yeah, you know? thank you. Thank so that's you. definitely so. It's a pleasure, yeah, Gerald. Thank you. Thank and you very much. And you're a military sir. man. Too. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I I I served in Vietnam for mm -hmm. two uh, two tours in Vietnam. Yes, yes, yes. And so. I was happy to serve my country. Oh no, no doubt. No you doubt. know, thank you for serving. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, I'm I'm glad to be back home. <laughs> hey, here we go. All yeah. right, Joe. Yeah, so, thank you again. You're welcome. You're welcome.